All right, guys, welcome to episode 116 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me. Got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. Yo, we appreciate yo. everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. But yeah, man, we bike with another one. We bike, we bike, we bike. How we feeling, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? We bike, we bike, <laughs> man. We bike again for the 500 time, bro. I lost yo, some we're fucking, fucking pissed, bro. <laughs> y'all don't understand the shit that goes on behind scenes bro yo i lost i lost footage and i'm lost footage and, and i'm pissed and we have to like literally fucking start over from scratch so it's okay you know so we for, might as well just get kicked in the fucking neck you, you quick, might as well man. fucking just chop one of my left fucking nipples off and fucking throw it somewhere and fucking you know i don't fucking know but yeah we're gonna get through it guys don't yeah, worry we're good it's not though. a big deal we're good we're good man yeah but, but listen man but we're back we're back, bro. It's fucking Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday. like a second Monday. You it's know like, what I mean? It's like a second Monday. Like, we're almost there, but we hate it. But we're not almost yeah. there. We're yeah. We're not even at Wednesday yet. Yeah, and it's crazy how we Fuck. hate certain days of the week because of the name. <laughs> I think that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same fucking day, guys. You know what I mean? They're all the same fucking yeah, day. Yeah, you're fucked. It, yeah, listen, bro. You got to be grinding regardless. You know what I'm saying? Weekend, not weekend. Like... It never mattered, bro. Like, I was, like, even when I was, you know, working, like, I was telling people, like, bro, I don't care. Like, give me the weekend shift. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck can't I do on a Tuesday that I can't do on a, you know what I'm saying? That I could do on a Saturday. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't know, bro. I don't know. Ultimately, bro, like, yeah, guys. Don't get too fucking high <laughs> before you start recording because you might lose some fucking footage. Yeah, we're right? like, bibbidi bobbidi. We're like, yo, oh, I mean, I'm yeah. like, oh, bibbidi bobbidi. Is this good? Can I throw it away? He's like, yeah, fuck it. Throw yeah. it in the trash. Throw yeah. it out the window. Yeah. Put it on fire. Yeah, I don't bit, care. Yeah, this, this fucking Visco Bargain knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Right? He fucking knows what he's doing. But nah, he fucking, he goes fucking dummy moment and, you know, and lost it all. Lost it all with one click. Lost it all in the fucking blink of an eye. You know who <laughs> loses it all, though? A lot of people lose it all, bro. They lose a lot. Hey, listen, they there's some lose, guys, bro. They, there's some guys that can lose it all, bro. You can lose it all, guys. You got to wake up. You got to peep the signs. Listen. Yeah. Guys, it's okay to be a gentleman, right? It's okay to wine and dine your, your woman. Your woman. Not a, not yeah. a hoe. Your yeah. woman. Your woman. Right? Your it's woman. okay to wine and dine your woman. You have to, you bro. Know? You have to. You got you to do but, things. But ultimately... They want a fucking man. And when it comes down, <laughs> when it comes to down, put the baby. pipe down, you know what I'm saying? You got to you got to put it down, bro. You got to put it down and you really got to go down. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to go down and then put it down. You yeah, know you know what I mean? Like, flip it around around flip town. It around, like around a, town. Like a pancake <laughs> and you fucking keep it going. You fucking spank that bitch right right back on the pan. No, but I think that? it's just a, it's a it's a it's a topic that people don't really talk about, man. Yeah. And it's 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 kind of crazy cuz like no one really talks about it. It's like, yo, like I feel you, like that's part of people's insecurity. Yeah, you, you have know? to sexually please your partner. You have to at all yeah. times. You have to yeah. in different it's ways. It's part of your it's part of your duty as being their fucking partner, bro. And it goes both ways, man. Like I don't know, bro. As men, we we have some double standards with some shit, right? Like you know, y'all have heard me talking about women before. Well, fuck that. Today we're talking about us men, right? Listen, bro, we have a lot of double standards. For example, if we feel like a woman isn't pleasing us at home, we'll go out and get a piece of pussy and be like, oh, it's just a piece of pussy. Why are you tripping about it? Yeah. But if it's the other way around and the roles are reversed and she steps out on you, now it's a fucking problem. You see what I'm saying? Nah, Facts. you can never forgive the bitch. <laughs> nah, nah, that never. Ass. You like, can never, <laughs> never, never. But if we do it, it's all right. You baby, know what I mean? Take me back. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, but it's it's very important. You got to spice things up. You got to do different things, man. Because Facts. what what do humans do? Humans get bored. They, yeah, they, they get bored really quick. And 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 despite the fact that like, yo, like marriages are really declining every day. You yeah. know what I mean? More than half of the marriages fail. And so, and people want to talk about oh that you know sex is not a fucking big deal that's bullshit to me that's bullshit nah, to me because it's a it's a big part of it we big... talked about it about ten times on here but yeah. yo, your light is on by the way oh it like, is holy shit my oh, guy is oh, fucking oh. searching me <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go to fucking jail yo, it's have, like yo you ever fuck? had your flashlight on and you're just like what the fuck that's just what just happened right now I didn't even know 
I'm trying to look at my phone to read my notes real quick. <laughs> and I got, my, got a fucking newscast over here. Nah, no, but, but it's very important, man. Nah, like, it seriously. Is. It really, it really, really is. Guys, go down on your woman, please, man. Go down on your woman. Yeah. Women, go down on your men. Take care of each other. Take care of each other's sexual needs. It might not be something that you're completely into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it pleases her, bro, at least try it. Because if you don't, she's going to yeah. with somebody. Yeah, she's gonna vice it, versa. with a girl. It, it could be with somebody yeah, else. It could like, be with another girl. It could be with another man. Doesn't yeah. matter. The point is, it's like you, men and women. You should never let your partner leave the house hungry or horny. That goes both ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like, let her fucking pump gas at a gas station. Oh no! If you're letting your girl, full. if you're making your girl pump gas, even if it's not, nigga, if you pull over and make her pump gas, you're like you're a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. Get out the car and pump the gas, bro. Yeah, it's not even you know that. It's like I'll take the whip. Like, okay, babe. Like, don't worry. You don't even need to, need to stop. I'm gonna go out of my way. I'm gonna take the car, fill up the tank for you, so you don't you Facts. don't gotta wake up in the morning Facts. and go. That's the type of person I am. Yeah, bro. You, you know gotta what I mean? take care of each other, bro. And they're talking about they're talking about forty to fifty percent of all marriages existing today will ultimately end in divorce in ten years. That's what they're saying. Forty to fifty percent of all hey, marriages. That's a big number, that's bro. Because I feel like half of that percentage is people just rushing it and wanting a title like you don't like you don't really know if this person's a husband or wife you just know that you know what i'm saying you want to be married because your fucking time is coming or you feel like you're getting older or there's a lot of different reasons why people get married bro yeah. some people get married because they got pregnant <laughs> like yeah. straight the fuck up that's just what it is you know what yeah. I'm saying? so it's like there's different reasons but those numbers it's like that's why you should take your time, bro. And like, women don't rush into that shit. And I have I have female friends and they be like, yo, I be giving them signs. Like, you know, like they be trying to like they don't want to be straightforward to it, but yeah. they get to the point where it's like, yo, like I shouldn't be half I, I shouldn't be asking for this. I shouldn't. That's a fact. I should be pleased hundred percent in different cat in, in different categories. Like in well, that's a, you know? that's unrealistic. Yeah. That's not, number one. Not that's 100%, unrealistic. Not hundred percent. Yeah, but it's but like I yeah, at like least you try. should that's exactly what I just said. It's like, bro, like if it, even if it's something you're not, you're not really comfortable doing, bro, like that's your wife. She wants to try it, try it, bro. Because if not, she's going to with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that, that it's really that simple, it's bro. It's one like, plus one. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, it's, like, it's so it's simple. simple mathematics, bro. It's simple mathematics. But listen, man, it's crazy, right? Because fucking when I was younger, bro, I used to like sleep any which way, right? Like, it didn't fucking matter. I could fall asleep any which way. Now, bro, it's like, I don't know, man. I sleep on my side, bro. And I fucking, you know what I'm saying? I just put my hands on my chest. Yeah, nah, and I bro. I just fucking sleep like a goddamn baby. Yeah, bro. I grip <laughs> on that fucking pillow real fucking tight. And I grip because I don't want to let go. You know what I mean? And it's fucking tight. And that's how I sleep, bro. Like, sometimes I, I flip over. I flip over a lot. I move a lot. Yeah, and I hate those motherfuckers. I toss and turn and if a you, lot. And if you grind your teeth, don't fucking talk to me. I might grind my teeth. Who knows? Because I, cause we all sleep. <laughs> what the fuck is this nigga talking about? But you ever been with somebody if that grinds grind their you- teeth? I don't know. What the, I don't like think you, so. Like well, grinding noise. Like people grind their their teeth when they sleep, bro, and it oh, makes a noise. Bro. It's annoying. I've never fucking been in that situation, <laughs> but I feel like I'd roll over and tell the bitch to go home, <laughs> bro. It's it's just it's basically fucking hell. You're living in fucking hell in the nah, fucking in, in a bedroom. You're gonna, you're gonna be fucking quiet. Hush up. <laughs> nah, We're bro. going to sleep. Tell your teeth to stop fucking. <laughs> Perreando on yeah. each other and shit. They got the fuck. Yeah. The bitches are fucking grinding on each other. The fucking reggae hole. Yo, over here. bro, you open the fucking mouth. You're having a goddamn fucking fest. You know what I mean? But yo, I'm tired of it, man. So uh, maybe I'm a fucking teeth grinder. Maybe I'm not. But who cares, bro? You know what I mean? I don't like it. And the people that snore. <laughs> I think I might like yeah, yeah I, I think I snore a little bit but I it's not snore. like excessive bro. If, yeah, like if, I I don't know bro. I remember bro, listen, I've never been with a partner that snored like that, thank God. But yeah. I remember like Trey used to sleep on fucking oh. Santos's couch. <laughs> and it's like Bro, this nigga snored so loud. It's a motorboat. Could, like you can hear this nigga walking up to the door. No, but then he stops. He goes, "Yeah, it's like sleep insomnia." Bro. And then he comes back. This is bad. He's yeah, like, it's, like, it's like you you fucking kickstarted yeah, a fucking. We, we started saying that shit. That nigga <laughs> kickstarted himself back to life. One time that nigga didn't breathe for like forty seven <laughs> seconds. I swear, we got concerned, bro. I know. Like, I was in the car sleeping there. And we're like. We're just waiting for it. And it never came. And we're like, oh my God, this nigga died. And all of a sudden, bro, that nigga just leg just kicked up, bro. He breathed hard as fuck. 
and he got all his fucking breath back. And I was like, holy shit, bro. Ever, he, I had to tell him, bro. He lifted I don't know, his leg I don't up and he kicked started. Nah, bro. He <laughs> fucking kickstarted his fucking heart. Bro. Oh, my God. But now nah, I, I was concerned. I was like, bro, you should want to get that checked out. He's like, I already know I have it, bro. And I'm like, oh, I'm you like, just don't care. Though. Yeah. You just want to fall asleep and never come back. There's people that have to wear a mask at night because they can't yeah. breathe. They stop breathing. That's dangerous. That's bad, you know, bro. imagine just going out like that. Just because. I mean, that's how I'd want to go out, though. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Sleeping, but, bro. But if you can prevent it, <laughs> I'm going to fucking prevent it, bro. Like, no, no, I, of course, of course. But it's like. Yeah. Damn, bro, that's fucked up, man. Sleep insomnia. Or not sleep insomnia. I'm fucking high as shit. Wow. That was uh, sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. That's That must suck, though, for real. Like, I would be scared to go to sleep. I would be scared to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> take a nap, bitch. You take a nap and it might be over. Yo, just slap me in the face like like an hour win. Like, don't make me sleep for Every too long. Every hour on the hour, bro. Yeah. Just fucking slap me across my cheek. Nah, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous to me, man. That's ridiculous. But yeah, there's a lot of people that uh that need to realize something, man. Let's hear it, bro. Let's you know, it. uh, I, <laughs> it's not a funny situation, but people really need to realize that we're really fucking lucky to live here in the United States, bro. People need to understand that we are born lucky. Round of applause for the United States of America. People, yeah. nah, dead ass. All jokes aside, people don't understand that. That's why a lot of people come to this country because it's a lot more opportunity than other places, man. Yeah, like that shit that's going on overseas and shit in Afghanistan. Like that's sad, bro. Yeah, like the picture like, that I that showed you is sad, bro. I'm gonna like, put, people falling I'm gonna put off it of airplanes. People falling off of airplanes. I saw a video where like somebody handed an American soldier their like newborn, like their baby. Yeah, I saw that over the bar bar and everything. Yeah, and it's, it's just like imagine being so scared, bro, that you hand your child to somebody you don't even know. Just like here, at least he might have he might have a chance. Yeah. But if he stays here, he's gonna die. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's like, really like that's fucked, man. That's that's a, fucked. That's up. a fucked situation for you to be sitting in a plane and you look out the window and you see a, a, just a dead body just hanging on the on the fucking on the fucking wing, just just yeah, laying like bro. dead, like a dead body. And it's not like beyond all of that, bro. It's like it's fucked up for the people that live there. It's fucked up for the soldiers that died there, the soldiers that fought there, that lost friends there. Yeah, because they went there and they, you know, what I'm saying they fought twenty years, bro. And in a matter of weeks, literally two, three weeks, bro, compared to 20 years, like it was taken over, you know? And it's just like, and like, I don't know, bro, like we're not the world's police, but I feel like we have a responsibility if we go somewhere and do something and just leave it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fucked up. Yeah. It's like, we didn't have to be there in the first place, but we decided to go and now we just leave them. You see what I'm saying? It's like, what was the purpose of it? For real. Like, I don't know, bro. There's always a hidden agenda. That's why you got, I've said it before, you got to watch who extends their hand to help you because they're not always extending their hand for help. Yeah. Like, they might be extending their hand to fucking pull you into the fucking trap or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, that ass. And that's what it is, man. It's fucked up. It's a fucked situation. So we, we definitely. Yeah, want- we got to be lucky. We, yeah. we got to feel like, you know what I'm saying? We got to thank God and we got to, like, appreciate what we got here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's like think about it. In North Korea, there's people fucking starving. Yeah. Literally starving. Like, bro, you could go up to anywhere around the corner, bro, and get something to eat here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to the, if you got a couple bucks, you can make something happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even, like, even the people that are homeless here are better off than homeless, somebody that's homeless in a third world country. Like, think about that, bro. Like, there's people that in third world countries that live like the homeless do here. And they're like, they think that's normal over there. Like, it's they're not homeless. Like, to them, they're like, bro, we got a little shack we stay under. Yeah, it's five of us, but we don't get rained on, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they think the simplest shit is like, why are y'all tripping? Like, nigga, this is how we live. Yeah, like, and you know it, I mean? it like, makes you realize, like, fuck, man. Like, we got it real good. We got it good. real, real good, man. Super People good. need to start realizing that. And there's other countries, too, like Norway, Sweden. Like, there's a lot of, you know, like, they got they got money. They're wealthy. They got good. They got good health care. You know, the government takes care of them. It's not as corrupt as other countries and they got it good. So so be blessed, bro. People need to understand yeah, that. Be blessed because it's hard to get in the United States. You know? Yeah, nah, it is. <clears throat> it's hard to get your citizenship if you're not like a U.S. citizen. Like you're not born here or on a territory. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like especially if you have some like stuff that you did in the past that you're not proud of. Oh, like, yeah. You're not coming over here. Yeah. 
But it's like that in other countries too. Like Canada, Canada won't allow felons from America to go over there at all. It doesn't matter if it was a non-violent felony. Like it could have just been like you got caught with fucking 28 grams of weed. They're not letting you in the country. Because <laughs> you're fucking a, You're a felon yeah. Doesn't matter about What the felony is Oh you're a felon Fuck out of here Garbage ass nigga <laughs> Yeah it's like those, those two fucking Hawaiian guys That uh Him and his son You, you heard about that He got arrested uh For making fake uh Like passports to COVID not, Cause you need a A, a passport <laughs> So him and his son got in that Fucking They're standing side by side Fucking Like pissed. fucking dweebs Yeah Like bro that's like yeah, oh my god I get where it. there's a where there's a market there's gonna be niggas that go into the market you know what i'm saying but it's like we're gonna get to the point of fake covid ids now that's what's gonna mean, go that's, they have fake ids period yeah you, you can get a fake id for anything it's true you can get a fake driver's license you can get a fake birth certificate yeah you, you get can a fake passport like you can get so much fake like a if fake you know eyelashes. the right people <laughs> everything's fake <laughs> everything fake, fucking fake oh man guys please please stop doing that please stop the Beijing can that shit stop? was like 2015 no. it's like when it first <laughs> yeah they, they was like alright whatever no but, I'm, I'm talking about the tattoo <laughs> shit oh yeah yeah no if it's not a real like hair I could tell replacement of course of course, it it's, looks like you Tory got Lanes. your shit drawn on you. Yeah, unless it's Tory Lanes and you put some actual fucking like nah, money into it. No, but them niggas, yeah, them niggas spent racks. Tiger, Tiger got his whole hairline back, but that's his real hair because he went through the procedure. It's like a surgery. Yeah, you. but don't tattoo a fucking hairline. Yeah, you, that's bro. what because when you go go bald, you're gonna look even stupider. Yeah, well, your I hair's see, all the way I back see. here, and you still got a black ass fucking line. Well, no, I see it. I <laughs> see it at the gym. Some people got it, and it's like you look like Pitbull. You know what I mean? Like I get it. <laughs> But but the thing is, is like I could see it in the light, the way that it shines. Like your head shouldn't be shining that much if you have hair there, even if it's like yeah, a yeah. short buzz. Yeah, like that's my point. Like yeah, no, like it. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. know that you're bald. You know it's what like, I mean? Bro, it's okay. Just embrace yourself. Yeah, like, just love yourself. And you know what's crazy? Okay. It's okay to be bald. And it's people okay ask, to have hair. yeah, it's okay. People <laughs> asked me yesterday, "Wow, you know your head looks so shiny. What do you use?" And I was like, honestly, I really don't use anything. I my really dog just be glowing. Man. I know. I, I swear to God, I just fucking I <laughs> shave my head. I put some hot water and some hot or some alcohol, and that shit fucking burns. And I'm like, oh fuck, God. hot water and alcohol. You ever shaved your fucking beard and you fucking put alcohol after? You're like, oh, that shit hurt. Imagine your whole head. Yeah, all yeah, at once. Nah, I'm not doing that, bro. Every I'm day. Not, hey, God knows what he's doing. <laughs> hey, you get used to it after a while, though. It doesn't. Nah, fuck that. It hurts every <laughs> fucking time. I don't want to hear. I get a haircut, and every time they put the alcohol on my shit, it burns. I so can't I know do that. It's the same I, shit. I can't put it on my face because I got sensitive skin. <laughs> like if I put alcohol on my cheeks after I get a cut, I'll get a line. <laughs> That ass, I'll get me a line right there. I'll get, I'll get like a whole line there. On your what? On my beard, on my cheeks, bro. <laughs> Not these cheeks, but these cheeks. <laughs> fuck you guys. You know what I mean? But is that fuck you guys? <laughs> nah, man. But you know what I noticed, bro? Being cheap, <sighs> being cheap will cost you a lot more later. Bro, that's a fucking fact. <laughs> and that was something and I had to learn. Yeah, I, that was a personal... I, I used to talk to this nigga. I still do to this day. Yeah. There's so much shit I tell him and he won't listen. And then like a year later, he's like, damn, bro. Like his fucking phone, right? This nigga had a <laughs> phone one time, bro. The most expensive iPhone I've ever fucking heard of. The nigga put like $4,000 into this shit, fixing it. Yeah. Like... You put a lot of money into that shit. Yeah. It was literally like a thousand bucks. <laughs> nah, nah, he's lying. He's capping. That's not nah, what it you was. Capping. You know what it was? It was like fucking like 650 or something. <laughs> less than a thousand, bitch. Yeah, it was less than a thousand, all right? Nah, but I replaced my phone like three times, bro. And you this didn't bitch, replace shit. Bro, this nigga would, would grab like, the same phone. Like, Damn, bro. It's just the screen, bro. It's just the screen. I'm like, Bro, that shit is fucked. You fucked it up like twice. No, bro. No, it's it's uh, only a hundred dollars. <laughs> Nigga, okay, got he got got for hundred dollars six times. <laughs> no, bro. It was one time that shit was that shit was not working, bro. Like it got so fucked up the, the last time they tried to replace it again that you know where the finger the finger thing is where you put your finger that shit did not work. They had to put a regular button from like an older iPhone. I was like, this is when I knew I had to get a new Nigga iPhone. Spent. <laughs> he could have bought a brand new iPhone, bro, and yeah. that nigga spent it on an old iPhone button. <laughs> yeah. That us. Nah, bro. I used to do super shit like that, too, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, I was cheap, man. I'm still cheap <laughs> with certain things, you know? like It's good being smart with your money, bro, but there's certain things I just can't fucking do, bro. Yeah. Like, I, 
Like, like I, yeah, it's, <laughs> like it's that. certain things. Like, you're funny, bro. You're nah, funny. nah. There's one thing that I noticed though is that uh, I can't fucking cut the grass no more. I don't want to do it. That's something I'd rather oh, pay for. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd rather yeah. be like. And I'm not gonna be cheap with that. Eighty dollars a month is is is, is that's it's great. A, I mean, that's that's great. I talked to moms about it, and she told me out there, nigga, they're charging one twenty. Oh damn! Yeah, I was like, for real? She's like, yeah. I was like, yo, this nigga's is actually kind of hooking us up then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah we ass. got a big lawn, so it's yeah, kinda like our backyard is big, bro. And he can't fit the machine, so he does the the back by hand. Yeah, you know the people. Saying? Shout so, out to the people that do lawn work. Yeah, man, shout that, out to you guys. Yo, that shit. That hey, shit's shout out to easy. anybody that fucking works in the sun. Cause you got people pissed off. Oh like, yo, God. you know, you forget one house. You're like, fuck, I forgot to go by this guy's house, and then you, they're fucking pissed. It's literally I mean, one. Yeah. It, you know, it's like, you and it's be understandable on too, because yeah. it's like they're a paying customer. If they were somebody that's just like rent, like it's different. But if they're a paying customer, bro. They have a right to feel a way about it. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, you're the customer, bro. Customer service is key, man. That's what Steve Jobs was Listen, uh, talking about. Customers always right. I don't care what nobody says. People can feel different about it. When you work in somewhere, bro, if you work there, you own the company, whatever, the customer is always right. Yeah. Unfortunately, it sucks because they're not. And that's not, it doesn't mean they're always right. But it just means, bro, if you want your business to keep making money, then you got to handle certain situations in a certain way. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like the customer, you might fucking be like, yeah, you're right. Have a nice day. And then go back in the office and curse them out from back there or some shit. Yeah. We can't do that in their face because they're right. They're about to spend money at your business. You know that what I'm saying? Is. Like That's true. And, and they don't have to. That's the thing about it. Like the same way, like there's, a, there, there's always like two sides to the same coin. Like the same way, like, you don't need their business. They don't need to come to you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It yeah, goes that, both ways. Yeah, it's like, it's, brother, it's so, it, you're Dunkin' Donuts, nigga. That could go right to fucking Burger King and get breakfast too. <laughs> yeah, or like, like anywhere, Starbucks. Yeah, like, like the anywhere. Fuck you talking about? Like, they, I don't they, need to fucking deal with your bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like we got certain hours for a reason. Like you know, some people, some people don't like fucking certain hours. Like Facts. like oh well, man, I can't deal with these hours. Well, then you got like, other well, options. Listen, bro, you you don't call fucking. Walmart now and tell them that you don't like their hours because they close at midnight. You just fucking deal with it. You wait till seven in the morning and you take your ass then or whenever the fuck you want to go. You take but, the L. You're yeah, like, oh. like, like, but that's something that it's crazy how when you first start a business, bro, and I don't know we've talked about business a hundred times, but when you first start a business, bro, like strangers will give you more of that respect than people that you know. Like the people you know is, like, oh, you started a business? Where's the homie hookup, bro? Let me get the discount. You know what I'm saying? It's like strangers will give you more of that respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like That's true. That's true. Strangers will give you. Yeah, that is true. I'm fucking stoned, guys. Listen, we're fucking high, bro. We're fucking high. We're what's, here. Listen, oh, yeah. what's po going on with Pokemon? Oh, yeah. We're, going yeah, we're going to bring up Pokemon, man. Pokemon was... Uh, Man, I, I've been collecting Pokemon since I was fucking young, bro. I've been watching Pokemon. I've been playing it on the Game Boys, the Emerald, like the Ruby, Sapphire. Like I was into that shit heavy, and um, even on Nintendo, wasn't Nintendo the uh, the regular Nintendo? They had a whole bunch, man. There was a lot of different stuff. Yeah, but anyways, Pokemon was huge, bro. Yeah, Pokemon, like like I was telling you, bro. They're the highest grossing fucking like show or anything. They're over Marvel, all of Marvel. Yeah, they even made more money than Marvel, Star Wars, like nigga, like that's a lot. They're worth ninety five billion dollars, bro. Yeah. So it's like Pokemon is iconic. They're legendary, bro. They've been around since the early nineties, I think, or late eighty something like that. But they've been yeah. around for a long time. I got Pokemon still... cards, bro. I got bro. some 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 rare ass shit, bro. I got some rare ass shit. Hey, listen, so... if y'all want to hit my dog, hey. you know what I'm saying you got to come with that bag, though. You, you know gotta what come saying? with that bag. I'd rather keep it for another twenty years. Facts. That's the Facts. way I am. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not impatient when it comes to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, for real. When it comes to investments and shit like that, you have to be patient. Bro. Yeah. Like shit not, shit never comes overnight. Because that's something I had to learn was patience, bro. Like I didn't uh, I was really impatient person. I didn't understand things. If I didn't understand it, I'm like, fuck this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, nah, bro, like you can't be like that. You gotta be patient and, and uh just wait for your turn. Wait yeah, for bro. it to happen. That's one thing I've been I've always been pretty all right with is is patience, bro. Like I've been yeah. I've always been all right with it. Like it's, bro. Anybody, anybody's human. Anybody gets impatient. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah. like, like over time, bro. Like it's like any other emotion. You just got to control. You know, got to learn. Yeah, to yeah. That shit. I, it's just a state of mind. I noticed that, Facts. like, man, you know, like if something happens that <clears throat> a situation or something that that just bothers you, you're like, fuck, man. Like that's just a state of mind. 
Yeah, you're mad for that second, and then you just release it and you let it go. Facts. That's Facts. what you got to do. Shit's not even ser- like honestly, bro. Most situations aren't even serious enough to like be upset about. But no. we're human. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like we're human, and it's okay, bro. It's all right to be like, yo, I felt a certain type of way about this, bro. Like I don't like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it. It. There's nothing wrong with that shit, bro. There's nothing wrong with that shit. A lot of people don't realize that shit, bro. Like. It is what it is, man. Hey, man, it's just being understanding and having gone through certain shit. You got to look at both ends. Yeah. You got to look at both perspectives. You can't just look yeah, at yours. Bro, but anger, you know what I'm saying? Anger won't let you do that sometimes. Ego. Yep. Alcohol. Yep. Like, there's different combinations of things that it's like, like, I always tell everybody that I know drinks is like, bro, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you're upset with somebody or whatever, like, don't, don't try to handle it while you're drunk. Because it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, you're not, neither one of y'all are thinking rationally. Alcohol is in the way, and alcohol is going to is gonna make you move in a way you might not necessarily want to move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we talked about it that one day where it's like, <clears throat> certain alcohol makes you do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, like, ultimately, bro, you got to be able, you got to be able to think about it in the moment and be like, bro, like, let's just talk about it tomorrow, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it tomorrow. Let's handle it at another time. Because if not, we're going to sit here and fucking just be yelling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no <laughs> point about up. it. And that's what I usually do most of yeah, the time. Like, yeah. like 90, Sometimes it, like you 80, can't control it, bro. Yeah. Sometimes somebody pisses you off and it's just like, yo, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. like What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was just <laughs> like, like, I want to slap you across your fucking chin right now. Yeah, it's just some, some, yeah, like 80% of the time, 90% of the time, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll wait till the next day and just be like, you know, whatever, you know? That's what I usually do. And that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, bro. Like, but that comes with time. That comes yeah. with time. Because we weren't thinking like that when we were 18. 19. Nah, hell no. I didn't give a fuck. Oh, I didn't give a fuck about shit. At that point, shit. it was like, fuck you, nigga. I'll slide your ass. I'll slide you right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bro. care. I'm out here. We out here. We out here. But listen, man. Literally, we out here. I'm going to tell here. you what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? Or just hit the fucking like button, man. That's all we ask for. Just yeah, hit just, the like. Share it with a friend. We got links. You know what I'm saying? We got links in uh, for our, uh, our merch down there. You know what I mean? We good. We chilling. Yeah, man. But listen, we appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love.